to another episode of Dreams Rage. Join the Dream Team. Like, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell that doesn't exist, apparently. Alrighty, so, we're gonna start off with the new Heisty Heist on GTA 5. My setup, hopefully, gets us to the point where we don't have to make contact with people and make it flawless. So, what I set up was the approach vehicle as a sub, the infiltration would be drainage tunnel. Drainage tunnel on the compound entry point. Next point would be the submarine where you can pick the dock. Day and time, up to you. The weapons load out. You can pick the marksman, which I prefer. Always have the suppressor. Support crew, it's up to you. Alrighty, now let's get in and do the heists. Not a whole lot of money on the shot clock there, but we can make it work. Play. And we'll play it by ourselves. Approach. Sub. Infiltration. Drainage. Compound. Drainage. Escape. Sub. Day. Weapons loadout. Marksman. Suppressor. Always. Whatever you want on the higher support. This is all optional. I just choose this. Because it works best for me. Now, I will assign the crew cuts. I'll get 100% because I've been a good boy all year. And then launch that mission. Now it's time for a ton of swimming. But you walk away like a bandit. And it's preferred to do this heist with two people because the key cards. But for GPS tracker confirmed, I have your position. training purposes. I'm doing one. You know what I like about you, boss? My twin got off for a night, so... To the scene of the crime. Even if it involves underwater drainage pipe, are you This heist is hard to set up. You don't need all the fancy... Optional... Options. All you need to do is just... Get up to this grate and cut her open with that blowtorch you found. Okay, next stop, maintenance. If you don't have this unlocked, it's right behind the compound. And then you just do a little scuba diving. You just visit this island again, do a little scuba diving. From green to red, you know you cut it through. Impatient I am, but we got it all day, don't we? Give it a nice one cut. Two, three. And I missed one. Very good. I'm doing a fine job. There we go. And then up. And then now. Wait, get in the middle. Where you gonna? Real nice. And once you kick it open, open sesame. Now we're just gonna swarm over here. Choose this infiltration point. Alrighty. Look around like a spaz. Now pick your weapon of choice. Make sure you have the suppressor. If you don't have the suppressor, you will have a bad time. Well, judging from the lack of now, time to give these people some headaches. And we'll count one headache. Reload, as you know. Do you never know if you're gonna get the shootout? 
I have sneak up on this fool. He's dead. And now we're gonna wait for the wannabe juggernaut. Because real juggernauts, they can take these bullets. And once he appears, we'll light him up like a Christmas candle. Eventually, he will be here. You just don't want to kill him in front of his friend. He doesn't like that too much. And here we go. He's intimidating. You can get, him, get him down, make him hurt. Make him wish he wasn't in this game. Oh, don't run too far. Now we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut back. We're gonna hide. Because his friend is a little pissed off at the world. And then I'm gonna climb back down because I'm not gonna risk it. Three days later, he comes back up. He cuts around, and he likes to get snacked in the head. He's gonna have a headache here soon. And the headache is real. Ready, once you gave him a headache too, he's not on him. Now, camera. Right there. Any kind? Hace nada estaba preguntando por usted. Another guy right here. Be careful. So you want to cut to the left. A sharp left. So far this has been working out for me. So I do it this way. All optional. And before he cuts back around, you want to give him a quick headache. Then you just laugh at that. And he should be picking his nose. I don't know why these cameras don't work. They're dome cameras. You give him a nice little headache too. And la ti da, he hands me the deal. I'll take that. All day long. Now, you go up one flight of steps here, and then you wait for his friend. As soon as you move up here, he comes down. It's magic. It's the magic of gaming. And he shouldn't peek over. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me see if I can't scoot. Scoot and boogie. Well, he's going to make a liar out of me. Oh, never mind. I'm going to hide him. He's just going to hide in the back there. That was unnecessary. You can cut that. Right, once you get in here, always check the safe. Get the key card in. That's unnecessary because you want to... Get a free gun, some health, if you're in the fire, and I'll show you how to do this real quick. It's actually pretty simple. 
Okay, so you find the top, that's the top. Find the top again, go over one, find the top again, go over two, find that's where it's last. But in theory, that's how it works. You find one that matches, that matches, or find the top, two, three. Find the top, one, two, three. There you go. Make it simple. Find the top, find the top, go over one. I think that's right. One, two, find the top, go over three. Over one. It just needs to come after this one, and that makes it more simple. So, just one over. Should do it. Not a bad thing. Confusing at first, intimidating. I get it. But we're gonna get in here. And we're gonna steal our tequila. Good. We made it again. Don't torch it. Give it a little bit of fire. And get in. Okay, time to focus, yes. This is Drop it on. This is Go slow. Let it climb. Let it do the work for you. You know, once in the Baltic Sea, the submarine was so cold, the plasma in my plasma cutter froze. And somehow it's still overheated. As you can tell, I'm really good at this. Ooh. And we're in. And the tequila is mine. You know, there is something about coming all this way to steal a bottle of booze which speaks to me on a very deep level. Alrighty, so... We'll go to the sewer. Looks right. So you, pretty much you just want to find the one that looks the same. Boom, boom. And then go over one. Find the same one. Go over one. Find the same one. If you see anything you like on the way out, do not be shy. Help yourself. Hmm. See, it's very confusing, so if you start from here, one, two. There you go. One, two, three. That fingerprint gets me some jobs. Patience. You got all the time in the world when you're sneaking around. Alrighty, so I'll actually go out this side. Because we can't go out the same way, you can't jump off the back because GTA apparently made it where you can't, so we shall not. It hurts. You hit the reef and you're done. Hmm. You also made it a pain in the freaking neck. 
Which he's looking at him. You can clearly see that. So I don't think that's an option whenever you're sneaking. I think the only option is go out to the front if you have the keys. Down looking, you go out the front. Alright. Hopefully, I'm not detected. Now you can take that. Arm guard out, or you can just fly to Goop. Work. The compound is behind us, and they still have no idea what's hit them. We are almost home. Just get out of there. So, the sub is not where you left it. No coordinates should be on your GPS now. And you just want to get to the Shabby Sub. Run through the forests. Shall I check the map? Because. Oh my gosh. Well. This time is the straw that breaks the camel's hump, I think. <laughs> oh. Actually, this would have been easier if I didn't pick this up. I don't think. Hmm. It's gotta happen. Because he's looking at that pretty hard. So you gotta give him that clapper, didn't Jeez. I don't remember that. all this extra stuff. The thing about the marksman weapon is you just wanna be extra careful. You gotta sneak around. Slap a sneak. And then I had to pick the worst. Exit point there. You just want to get them headache real quick. Get more headaches. Plus you get the better. Bicycle. Take the bicycle. And you want to be extra careful. Because they got patrolmen on the loose. Now they know we got it. Well, well, judging from their guns, it sounds like Mr. Rubio is reaching for his helicopter again. Which if you do the little setup there, it actually isn't as bad. You just don't want to get caught by that helicopter. You just don't want to get caught. Because it hurts. You gotta watch out for the brush.
That's who you want. I wasn't trying to take any hits, but this will do. Actually, if you. Damn it. I don't know if this is going to work. Back. Oh, good. I'm, I'm setting up shop right beside him. And then he just slide. Hey, get on out of here. You've got to get some concentration and got to get on out of here. Pull up that inventory. Make sure you don't shipwreck. Put on a little bit of body armor. And if you set yourself up for the dock, you would have got that way a little bit quicker. But you'd be alright. We'll do the stubby sub. It's all about preference. Keep up that inventory if you want to eat snacks and drive. Snacks are good. Body armor is good. That's why we load up. Because you don't want to die out here in the middle of the ocean. That makes a bad... That makes up a bad heist. Then you just slide. Just whenever you get over the sub, don't want some armor because they still hit you like they miss you. Make sure you get out of that. And then you just slide down the way down to your still be sub. And it's over. You walk away with a mill, everybody's happy. Too bad I didn't complete that in 15 minutes. But it'd be alright. Oh, okay, I lied. It was not a mill. That's how you do it. Not a bad solo run. Like I said, it's a lot better whenever you pick up more people than if you follow a strategy resembling this one and you'll do it efficiently. You also walk away like bandits. 